We recently went behind the scenes of the Shakespeare Theatre of New Jersey's production of Pericles. A rarely produced late work, Pericles is Shakespeare's epic reimagining of a popular tale from ancient Greece. So this is our last chance to do it without an audience. Today is about getting all the final elements together, adding in costumes, lights, finessing, those sort of things. We'll do a run through tonight and we'll see how everything that we've done over the last four days, adding the technical elements, has added to the work that we've been doing with the actors for the last four weeks. So this is a very kind of stressful period that you're putting everything together. It can either really work or it's not going to gel. I think we're in good shape on this, so I feel pretty good there. No, no, you were fine. What you did this time was exactly right. So the end of the scene, we'll see it when we get there. So, okay. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Mm. Actually, in Shakespeare's day, it was a huge hit. Um, and it, it, unfortunately, it was bad timing. Um, it was very popular right off the bat when it was written. Um, and shortly after that, the uh, theaters were closed due to a, a particularly um, enthusiastic uh, strike of the plague. Hail, Reverend Sir. Good. Guys, yes. that was perfect. Other than one thing. It has this message of no matter how horrific the world can get and how horrific and beaten down that you can feel, there's still a possibility of redemption and still a, ha a possibility of a happy ending and a reunion and exactly what we want the holidays to be. Lest this great sea of joys rushing upon me overbear the shores of my mortality and drown me with their sweetness. Oh, come hither. Oh that begetst him, that did thee beget. Thou that was born at sea, buried at Tarsus, and found at sea again. 